Hi, and welcome to our short lesson on the red velvet ants, also known as cow killers. Um, our special is brought to you today by the Cumberland County Farm Bureau and the Ag in the Classroom program. And we have a special thanks that goes to the Ferguson family for helping uh, make this possible. So first of all, this is a red velvet ant. You may see them around. Um, they're usually pretty hard to find, but we've been seeing an increase in numbers here in Cumberland County. The red velvet ant name comes from their ant-like body and their velvety fur-like appearance. But this is not an ant, but a wingless wasp. So you see here an example. Here's a female, but how do we know it's a girl and how do we know it's a wasp? Because she doesn't have wings. She looks much different than a male. In this photo, we see a male. And the males have what? Wings, exactly. This looks more like a wasp. Flies with wings just like a wasp. Another reason we know that this is a female is that we have people who study insects in the study of entomythology, and they have studied these females, followed them into their nest, and watched them lay their eggs. Given that the female, with her flightlessness, would be highly susceptible to predators, she's got a few defenses up her sleeve. So for that, she's got the ability to create an odor and even sound. Yes, she can actually squeak and let predators know that she is here and she doesn't want to be messed with. There is absolutely no doubt that velvet ants are famous for their most powerful sting. These girls have a stinger that is nearly half their length of their body, which is crazy. It's like pulling a sword out of your leg and it being covered with venom. The venom is very, very painful, but it is one of the most mildly toxic of any insect. So yes, it's painful to be stung. It doesn't last but maybe 30 minutes or so. Great thing to know about this is that they cannot kill a cow and they cannot kill a human with their venom. A problem that I think cows have had in the past and that I've heard of and also read about that some cows have been probably eating grass and maybe got one up their nose or they were they stepped on one or one crawled up the, a cow and they were stung. It hurts really bad, remember? In one particular story, a cow was stung. It ran into a pond to get relief and it did not get out of the pond. It actually drowned. Not cool. Okay, so some things to remember when encountering a red velvet ant. First, they do have a hard exoskeleton and they're kind of hard to kill, especially when they're on dirt. I wouldn't attempt to squish it with a flip-flop. Also, they are fast. They'll be out of your area pretty quickly. Thank you for watching, and if you have more questions, give us a call or email us, and we'll get back with you with those answers. Thanks.